doing with the twist? It's fall, so let's make the best of it, uh, especially up here in the north where it's about 40 degrees outside and not too happy. So we're going to do a butternut squash sweet potato soup, okay? We started off with the squash. We've de-skinned it, which we're doing that right now, okay? There are many ways you can do this. Uh, you can boil it. Uh, you can put it in the pressure cooker, but I want to get the best flavor that I possibly can out of the squash. So I'm going to chop it up and bake it. Okay, we're going to try to slice this up. It's very difficult. Squash can be very hard, so let's go. There we go. Push down. There we go. And then we're just going to slice it in half. Now that I've chopped up the squash and the sweet potato, we're going to drizzle it with olive oil, salt, and pepper to taste. I'm going to put it in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the strength of your oven. I've put mine at 425. It's a convection oven. I've also put a, an aluminum pan with water to, to create a steam effect. Okay, I'm going to drizzle it up with olive oil. Try to make sure that you get all the pieces. And then we're going to cover it with salt and pepper. This is going to take a little bit of time to bake. Uh, I would say at least 35 to 40 minutes. Uh, keep an eye on it to make sure that it doesn't overcook. You don't want it to get brown or black. You just want it to be nice and soft. You can put your fork in it and it'll come out. You put some sea salt over that. Okay, now we're going to place it in the oven. sauteing the bacon. It's nice and ready. So now we're going to add the red, yellow, and orange peppers. We're going to add the shallots. Okay. Stir it around. <clears throat> the tomatoes. Now these are Roman tomatoes that my son's girlfriend brought me from her grandmother's uh, garden. So they're organic. I'm going to let that stir around. And the last thing we're going to add is the garlic. I don't want the garlic to overcook. And then we're just going to let that get translucent. It'll take about three to four minutes. I have this all kind of mushed up a little bit. Kind of break it up into little or smaller pieces. And then we're going to just put it into our pressure cooker. We're going to add one and a half cups of fresh broth. We're also going to add about a third cup of white wine. Okay. Add that to our pot. And now our vegetables that we've been sauteing are ready. This is what it looks like. I wish you could smell this. It's just fantastic. The bacon with the garlic and the tomatoes. Just, just a brilliant combination. I'm going to put that all together. We're going to give it one nice stir. And we're going to top it and we're going to put it under pressure for about 20 minutes. Okay, and we'll be back and we'll show you what that looks like. Okay, we're back now. The soup has been taken out of the pressure cooker. I've put it on the stove top just for a few minutes to push it down, you know, uh, smash it up a little bit, and then I've pureed it. And this is our final product. It, this is the butternut squash with sweet potato soup. I've topped it with some avocados, a little bit of olive oil, and a little bit of paprika. Great way to finish uh, on a cold fall night. Thank you so much for watching us. Uh, follow us on Cuban with a Twist and like us on Facebook. Thank you and have a great night.